welcome to Creative Moments by G. Today we are making over the top cards with tags. We are using a bunch of different stamp sets, but we're focusing on this one, tags, tags, tags. And we've also used the die set to cut the tags out. So let's head down to the crafting table and let's get started. The first thing you're going to need for today's card is an eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a fourth, and then I just cut the top part at two and an eighth because you'll see what we're going to do. We're gonna do some overlays here and this is gonna be a Halloween card, but stick around to the end because we have three more cards to show you that are over the top and I think you're really gonna like them. Now remember, just enjoy this video because you can always head on over to creativemomentsbyg.com and get all the dimensions for the card. So you don't have to worry about that. And if you see the supplies that you want, well, you can just click below the video and you can pick up those supplies. So this card is cut and we decided to use this DSP because don't you just love this color? I love black and white stripes. Today we're going to be using this DSP. We're going to use Granny Apple Green and then Gorgeous Grape. I love those colors for Halloween. So let's go ahead and get this glued down. And you know, I like to always say, let's get this inside glued down so that we don't have to worry about it. Now, we have used infinity dies to cut out this adorable postcard rectangle for the front of our card. So we are going to set this up on dimensionals just like this. And we want to make sure that when we use our dimensionals, we only set it up on half of it, okay? So we know we need it this much, so just go ahead and turn it over like this and keep your dimensionals at the very top part of it. You can use these horizontal lines to line up this topper. Next, I cut out this granny apple green piece and we are going to put this right in the middle. I stamped this using tags, tags, tags. But before we put this on, I need to put a spider web here with a little spider. So let's go ahead and get that stamped. We're going to stamp another spider web right over here. Now look at this cute little spider. We are going to add him to one of our spider webs. And now we're going to bring in our tag that we already stamped and cut out, put it on dimensionals and put it right in the center. Now I think what would add some dimension right here is to take your Nouveau Drops and go ahead and color his body in. Or you could also take a marker but I'm going to use my Nouveau Drops and I'm going to wait to the very end so that it can dry and we don't have to worry about it. Now I'm going to take a little bit of black and go around the sides just to give it some more dimension. And 
we are ready to add this to the front of our card. Now, I like to go ahead and raise it up on dimensions because I just think that added height makes it so much more interesting. Look at this. We have one more thing to add. We are going to take a stamp set that has Trick or Treat Happy Halloween. Now, because this comes in one stamp set, great tip. You want to just make sure that you put a piece of tape right here when you're trying to ink this up so that you don't get the ink on this part of the stamp because we have to stamp it in two phases. And we are going to use our gorgeous grape and we want it to be right here on the side. So we're gonna pull off our piece of tape. Now the reason we're doing this in two phases is we don't want the Happy Halloween to be upside down. Oh, look at that. Trick or treat, and now we want our Happy Halloween to be right here. So we're gonna make sure we've cleaned this off really well. And now we're going to tape up trick or treat. And here we have our over-the-top card using tags. Don't you love this? Trick or treat, happy Halloween, very quick to make. Oh my goodness. Now the other card I want to show you, look at this beautiful over-the-top card. We have several layers. And you know what? Layers just make the card so much more special, doesn't it? We used our tag here, but we stamped with a grateful heart. We added some little acorns and leaves, added a tag here. Look how we dry embossed it with the beautiful aspen trees. Oh, I just love that embossing folder. And you open it up and we put Happy Thanksgiving. I love that font, don't you? The next card we did over the top with different tags. We did a lot of layering here. We brought in our red and our orange, our fall colors, and look at this cute little tag. It was actually a Christmas tag, but we stamped it and we put our acorn and our leaves over it, and look what we did. We just threaded some curling ribbon through that tag and then put it down with some glue dots and we use the fall colors, layering it all over. Once again, we use that beautiful Aspen dry embossing, and we stamped most wonderful time of the year. That's our third one. Now let me show you our final one over the top. Oh my goodness, don't you just love all this DSP? Oh, we just love it. It comes from uh, I believe our autumn DSP, so, so beautiful. We used our one of our tags. We used another tag to layer it. And look at the shine on that DSP. Oh my goodness. You open it up. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you so much for stopping by to our YouTube channel today. We hope that you got a little bit of inspiration. Remember, we provide videos on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and a live YouTube on Wednesdays at 10 o'clock Mountain Standard Time. We certainly hope you can join us during that time. If you haven't subscribed, please take a moment and subscribe to our channel. It means so much. And leave us a comment. Tell us where you're from. Please remember, go out, be safe, be healthy, be creative in your crafting, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.